Hey everyone, it's Mrs. Smith. Thanks so much for joining me today. Today we're working on an anime or manga style of art. We're going to go over some basic characteristics that set them apart from other drawings and learn some easy steps to draw them. We will do a little tutorial on drawing Naruto. And then we'll just, like I said, go over some basic techniques. We'll go over eyes, the nose, all that kind of stuff and how to draw those in an easier style. And who knows, maybe we'll even create a self-portrait in an anime style. Stay tuned. We're gonna go over a few features that you see in a lot of the pictures that are distinguishing factors in this type of art. If you notice the eyes that are really big, have the eyelashes for the girls, and the, just the thick outline, um, something else that you'll really see is a lot of the highlights, big highlights, big pupils in the eyes. The nose are really tiny, tiny little button noses or just maybe little dots for the noses, and the mouths are tiny as well. Both faces you'll see will come down more into a V at the bottom, not, not too pointy, but a little bit rounded V at the bottom. And then you'll see the hair is very spiky looking. All right, and then you can, uh, they're very stylized with some highlights, but the bangs, the ends of the hair, everything is very choppy looking. So symmetry plays a big role because you want both eyes to look the same. So when you can get one eye drawn perfectly and bam, you've got to reproduce it the same way on the other side. So that's a little bit tricky, but we're gonna practice that first. So let's get started and practice some eyes. Again, let's take a look at this page here. We've got three different set of eyes. We've got the top one up here has the lashes on the top and the bottom. And notice that one of the things is that these eyes do not connect. Like when we draw a picture now, we kind of have the almond shape eyes or a football shape eyes. These eyes are not connected as far as being in, encapsulated in one whole area here. They're open-ended on the sides. We've got the highlights in there, big pupils. And then the next one down, we've got the oval shape that's more in the eye. But again, they're really wide eyes. We've got tiny little noses. And the bottom one here is maybe more for a guy where you've got the very sharp angles in here. And again, they're not connected, but it also features the big pupils and the highlights as well and where you position the eyebrows also will evoke some emotion, okay? If they're pointed down, they might be more angry eyes. Little pointed up a little bit is maybe confused or more shy. And then we've just got some regular eyebrows at the top. I'm going to take my piece of paper here and I'm going to fold it into thirds, just like you get a letter in the mail. Fold it over, it doesn't have to be perfect. And then open it back up and we're gonna use these three sections now to draw some different eyes. So again, symmetry plays a lot and you're going to use your pencil to create some very light guidelines as well. So the eyes are usually a little farther apart as well. So if we're going to start on one eye and we're gonna get that top little sad smile arc going there, and then we're going to thicken up that line, the eyes are usually thick all the lines actually are. And we're gonna go into some eyelashes and maybe just do three and reattach that, okay? So now we want to do, sometimes I'll do the same thing at the same time, so I don't have to worry about recreating that entire eye again. So I leave a bit, little bit of space and I'm going to do that sad smile again on the other side. And I'm just constantly gonna be checking myself to make sure that my symmetry is on. And again, I can go back in and make things a little bit smoother after I get that symmetry just right. All right, so I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna go in and do those eyelashes. So I'm gonna do one, two, and three on there and have those attached. Now, the next step is going to be a circle that is in the eye. Now, if you have circle templates, that's great. You could use those. If not, you always wanna make sure, let's take a look. You never see the whole eye showing. It's always cut off. The ends of it are cut off. At least one end is cut off. So we're going to start our circle, make a big circle coming down so you can see the size of that eye. And then again, I've got to try to recreate that 
on the other side. So if you do have a circle template that you want to use, that's great. If not, just keep playing around with it and you'll get it. Remember, these are just practice ones that we're getting started with, okay? And then now you want to draw the really big pupil on the inside. So it looks like a Cheerio or a donut, okay? So I've got that going. And now we're going to add the highlights. And again, the highlights appear in the same spot. And the highlights are usually big, and they break through to the pupil just a little bit. So I might just erase a line that goes through each eye or each pupil like that. This pupil actually looks like it's a little bit bigger on the other one. So I'm going to make it bigger and erase that line there. All right. And then I'm going to draw a big highlight and then small, a little bit smaller one over here. So big highlight on this side, a little bit smaller one on the other side. And then now I'm going to do the underneath the eye. So now I'm going to get another curve that goes around that. I'm making it a little bit thicker. And if you want to add just a couple little lashes underneath, you can. So I'm going again, getting that thicker line and then adding the little lashes underneath. All right. And for each one, you can just practice a little nose. Um, let's take a look at a sheet here that has different noses on them. Some of them almost look like a little animal nose. It's kind of cute. Some of them just have the little line that goes one side with one little dot for the nostril. You don't even have to have the nostrils, just like a sideways nose, a little line. That's a smaller nose there. Some of them just even have the two little dots. And this one's kind of like a side view with both of them. So you can pick which nose that you want to put on there. Again, some of you that have experience drawing uh, anime and manga will already have some that you like to use. I'll just go ahead and put on this little, little nose like that on there. So those were the round eyes. So now we're almost going to do the same thing, but we're going to create it with the ovals instead. So again, the eyes are very open-ended. So I'm going to draw that sad smile again at the top on each side. Get that sad smile in. And then I'm going to thicken it up and bring it around. Now, if you're drawing smaller pictures, you don't have to thicken it up. I'm just doing it for this, this um, demonstration. And then I'm going to bring it around to the side, okay? So it's almost like I'm par partially drawing a little bit of a sideways L on each one of these. Okay, I'm going to bring it down. Okay, then I'm going to attach those lashes again. I usually do about three, okay, and the lashes on either side. And I can come down a little bit longer with that L. I'm looking at this now, and I want to make sure that it's the same length going down as it is going across, okay? So both sides are equal on that. Okay, so I've got both of, of those areas done, and then now I'm going to make it end but I'm going to draw parentheses, okay? Parentheses are gonna um, be like the oval that's in the middle of the eye. So this will kind of help just knowing that it's going to look like a parenthesis, okay? And then make sure that you get those thicker lines in there. We might be filling it in. Okay, now it's open-ended at the bottom. That one doesn't quite match, so I'm going to make that come in a little bit more. Okay, there we go. All right, so that comes in a little bit more. And then I'm just going to have a little bit of a smiley face. It's going to look like, that's how I refer to lines, which way the curve is going. Okay, up like that. And then again, now we're going to go with the big round pupil in the middle of the eye. And again, depending on where the eyes are looking, then you can make those eyes go in that direction. So if the eyes are are going to be looking down, you can put them more at the bottom of your picture. Trying to get that symmetry right. It's tricky. Okay, so I've got those pupils and I'm gonna do the same thing. This time maybe the other direction. I'm going to erase that line through there and I'm going to draw some really big highlights in there. Okay, and I'm going
going to erase out where those highlights would be. And again, we can go ahead and add a little nose if we want to, even if it's just like some little, little lines. Sometimes you'll, you'll see a little bit of a line indicating the nose going down that way as well. So once we color this in afterwards, these will start to look a little bit more like the eyes. All right, so now we're gonna do that last set of eyes that are gonna be more like some a guy um, in a picture. So we're going to start out like we're drawing, looks like a math class right now because we're drawing looks like some trapezoidal type of thing. And uh, we're gonna make that thicker, curves over like this, and then it's gonna be like an arrow on the end and you're gonna bring it around. Okay, so you brought that around all right, so it's gonna be a, an arrow that goes over and hooks down a little bit. And again, if you need to draw a little bit of a line going across so that you know where to start the next one, just make sure it's nice and light, all right? And then you can get that same thing there if I wanna get that line going across the top so I kinda of know how big to make that. All right, so I'm gonna thicken that up a little bit just for this portion of this class and I'm going to bring that down into the arrow so we're doing that symmetry and making it a mirror image of what we just drew so one side they, the sides both match now we're going to go ahead and get that circle but it's going to be cut off at the top so I want to have a large circle in each eye okay and remember if you have something you can trace that's great if not and then you can make it thicker as well. Go back around there. It all depends on how big your drawing is. If you're doing something really big, it'll help. Or if you have the thicker markers, that will help as well. So then we go ahead and make that donut. Because you're gonna want donuts after we're done with this. We're talking about them. And we're gonna erase and get those highlights in there. It doesn't have to be too it can just be one big highlight at the top or bottom. Remember, same spot in each picture, okay? So now we're going to add that bottom piece, and this is going to be the opposite. It's not going to connect. It just kind of comes up a little bit like that. So we're going to make that curve up a little bit, a little bit of an angle, and not quite connect. All right, so again, this can come down a little bit. You can put a line in there if you want to indicate that. The eyebrows, if you make them coming down, like thicker, thicker eyebrows with some sharper angles, it's going to give that look of being angry or, or frustrated or something like that. And then again, you can go ahead and get whatever type of nose in there that you want to. We can work on some of the mouths later. But what you would do is you would go in and you're going to color, um, your, and you don't have to do this now, but I'm just doing this for, for this demonstration here. You can use a thicker line to get in there, or a thicker marker to get in and color that. So that whole thickness was just colored there. I'm gonna get those eyelashes in, okay? And then I'm gonna go around the highlights, okay, and color that pupil. Now you can go around with a thinner Sharpie or you can just use the tip of this really fine and get that done. And then you're going to go around the eye as well and get that on there, okay? Now, depending on if you're doing your, your project in black and white or in color, you could make the eyes a color because this technically is the white part of the eye. That would be a color. Or if you're just doing your piece in black and white, you can just go in and add, notice I'm using the side of my pencil. If you don't have a shading tool, you can use the side of your pencil and you can go in and do that. Take your finger, blend it a little bit. And then if you really wanna get fancy, you can cut out like a, or erase out like a um, slice on either side. So it almost looks like a piece of pizza taken out and it really makes that highlight look a little bit darker. Um, and that you see a little bit more going on in the eye. So practice those and we'll get started on some mouths. 
Okay, now we're going to play around with just some different mouth styles and the noses as well, and just draw them all over your page. You don't have to do anything really in particular on this. So the mouths are usually pretty small in the manga pictures, and you're gonna see a, a variety of different types, some with teeth showing, some with um, just the line, a simple line. So sometimes when the mouth is uh, open and smiling, it's just a little bit of an arc that's put over like this, and then just bring it around with a U, okay? Sometimes that's all you need for the open mouth. If you wanna add teeth, you can draw that extra little line there, and then this almost looks like the tongue, and then you would color in this whole section in here. So all of this would be colored in. All right, a lot of times um, we can just do the, the smile, just a basic smile, bring that down, bring that back over, round the edges, and it can either be open like that with nothing in the middle, you could just put the little tongue in there, or you can add the teeth in there as well. And again, color in the area that would be, that would be dark in there. Okay, sometimes you can even color in a little bit from the side and get that going as well so it doesn't look like the teeth go all the way to the edge. Okay, but many times you just use a line. It can be, you know, if you're giving a smirk, you can just have one side up and the other side uh, down a little bit. Um, a smile can be as simple as just drawing the top part of the lips. Okay, it looks like a, a seagull flying. Okay, so you kind of get that in there. And then maybe it's just one, one little line underneath. Okay, you can get a simple smile that just goes up. It's really nothing that is, um, they can be a tiny little smile. It can be a little sad smile. It can be a crooked type of smile in there, however you want to do it, but they are small and they are really indicated with lines and sometimes with just maybe a little bit of shading underneath as well that you would do to look like, you know, the part of the, the lower part. And you could just maybe indicate just a little bit more of a line in there as well that's coming around. So anything simple like that would do. When it comes for those noses, let's just take a quick look at these again. We can do the side nose and it's rounded, a little bit thicker there. Sometimes they only do the shadow of the nose. So you would see a lighter shadow with maybe just one nostril there. You could do either direction for the nose. Um, you can just do a smaller one with maybe just one small nostril. Sometimes I have seen just the two nostrils like that. Sometimes with a little uh, arch over it. And then you can also do the little side nose with um, both nostrils if you want as well. So the noses are very tiny, nothing like drawing a realistic nose, which is kind of nice. So they're very tiny in the pictures, tiny nose, tiny mouth, and um, on the smiles though, you will see some nice big smiles as well. So practice those and let's put this all together now and do a picture of Naruto now. We're gonna go over some basic steps for drawing a face and we'll uh, get this one knocked out. We're going to do some basic shapes to start out with. The head is going to be a big circle to start with. So on your page, you know, leave room for the hair at the top. Some of it might be cut off in this picture, but we're going to do a large circle. So I'm gonna go and get in there with a large circle. Again, if you have something that you wanna use to trace, that's great. If not, draw your best circle and don't be afraid to go back in there and to erase some lines. Now, that's our basic one. We're gonna go ahead and super lightly, I'm gonna draw a little darker just so the camera can see it. You're going to section that off so it's a big plus sign in the middle of that circle, okay? And now what you're gonna do is from that midsection line, you're gonna bring it straight down and curve it over to make that nice, that chin come down. All right, so a bit not so pointy. And then we're gonna bring it back up, straight down on the side and over. Okay, so now we have this area. Right about in here is where the mouth is going to be. So don't erase that all the way. 
If you want to go ahead and erase part of this, this will help you. Okay. And this midsection line here is going to be the center where the eyes are. So you're going to want to start on the top part here and get that eye going that's going to be the one that we practiced that's going to go over and then back down into that arrow, okay? And you're going to do the same thing on the other side so that you can get that the symmetry on that and practice that, okay? That one looks like it's a little too far over. All right, and make that angle come down. All right, so now I've got both of those. That's a little bit longer there. So see how you keep going back and forth. It's not a big deal. Don't worry if that's something that you're like, oh my gosh, it takes so many tries to do that. That's okay. Art is not a contest right now to see who finishes first, right? So take your time with it, and then you're going to get that circle in there. Okay, so I'm gonna get that circle in there, and then underneath, it's gonna look like a check mark that goes. So it's open-ended. Remember how that open-endedness? All right, so I'm gonna get that circle drawn in there, trying to get that same size. Looks like I might need to bring that over a little bit more. There we go. And down, and then I'm bringing that check mark look in there to keep that open a little bit there. So I've got the eyes in there. Now remember we're going to make that donut shape again for the eyes, the big pupil, big pupil in there. And I'm going to erase out just one corner of each circle and I'm going to go ahead and put that big highlight in there. So I've got the highlight in there now as well. And this is one of those pictures where you can take and you're constantly adjusting it, right? It's the life of an artist. Okay, and again, this can have that line that kind of comes down a little bit for the nose that can indicate that that might be where the nose is. Now, the good thing with Naruto is that his headband is right above the eyes. So we don't want to follow this line because your head is, I mean, it's not going to be hugging that head, the head like that. You have hair and all that stuff. But the line for the headband is gonna come right above and it's an ever so slight smiley face that is going to come up and curve like that, okay? And then the edges of it, you just like dent, indent it in just a little bit on the sides there, all right? And then the top of it is really gonna come right below where the top of that circle is and it's going to be an ever so slightly curved um, sad smile so that you have that in there. Okay, so let's go ahead and erase the inside part of this headband right now Erasing the inside part of the headband All right, and then right where this middle line here is also the middle of the ears So let's take a look when you do ears. It's almost like you're making a question mark bringing it back out and looping it around Okay, so do the same thing on try to start at that same spot on both sides and bring it around All right, and make sure that again symmetry do both things at the same time because that really does help Now notice this little line. I'm adding a little curve to show that little part that goes on the inside of your ear that you've got to clean really good, right? All right, getting that down there. And then I'm just gonna put another little, like a backward C and a forward C on each side to also show a little bit more of the ear. Okay, so now that I've got that, I'm going to, this is that lower line from the circle, remember? I'm going to go back in and put my mouth in there. So again, I wanna give him a little bit of a grin, okay? So I'm just doing a very, it's a very tiny, it looks like a backwards S curve if I turn it around. Thickening it up just a little bit. And I'm putting this little mark in here that's like a dimple for the chin that I can um, uh, shade afterwards if I want to. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get this erased. Okay, get all those other guidelines erased. Go back in, erase around where the eye is. Erase those guidelines out. All right. And then 
we do need to add some sort of nose. So right above the mouth here a little bit, I'm just gonna add those two little nostrils like that. I'm gonna round this, it's got a little pointy somehow. I'm gonna round that a little bit more. And then I'm going to go in and I'm going to um, make these little whisker things on the side. Um, they're almost like a claw mark, okay? And they're curved, so don't make them straight because they're going around. So I'm gonna do one, two, three, and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. I've got one, this one comes out, two, three on that side, okay? Now if I need to, I think what I need to do is drop this down a little bit here, make that come up a little bit, make that come up a little bit. I might need to extend this over a little bit. Okay, now if the ears look too small, you can take and erase this line. I might do that and make them look bigger. I, all I did was added a line on top of it instead of, and then that created my inner ear line was already there. Okay, so now my ears are a little bit bigger. There's a plate on the inside or on his headband that is metal. So we're gonna follow that same curve, get that around on top, and then do the same thing on the bottom, bring that around and curve the edges. This time we're making it smooth because it's a plate that goes on there. It looks like it's made out of metal and there's like three bolts that go down. So we're gonna put our divots, whatever you wanna call them, are gonna go down. And then the symbol that is on there starts out with a straight, little straight line like this and then it looks like you're doing a circle cinnamon bun. It's gonna go around and around like that. And then you're going to add like a beak over here. Okay, a triangle over to that side. Now we're gonna get that neck put in. Sometimes you really wanna watch the neck that you're not making it look like it's, it's too skinny or too big um, as well. Now the top of the hair, Again, we're going to do this to look kind of choppy looking. This is never the top of the head or like where the very top is. It goes way up, right? And we'll see that on our next picture. But we're going to go in and put a few little choppy pieces coming down and they look like upside down uh, shark fins, if you will, and then go in and erase that out so that he's got some of these some of this hair is going over his headband. Okay, so it just kind of looks like I did claws, really. Looks like three little claws over here on each side. All right, and that's the kind that's going up over the headband. And then you're just gonna do some, if you look at pictures of him, he has a lot of that choppy hair going out. And again, it always looks like it's curved like a wave. Um, and then you're gonna get some other pieces near the top there that's kind of cutting off and get that curved out to get that hair to come out. And you can always do a few pieces on the inside as well. Depends on how you're going to color it, if you just wanna do shading in those areas um, to get those pieces in there. Now for the collar, what you're gonna do is you want the collar to look like it is around him. So you're gonna start on one side and it's like you're adding a ring around Jupiter. All right, you're gonna bring it around like this and the same way over here. So you're doing that oval that goes all around him and then you can bring it down because it's almost like a turtleneck and you can just kind of bring it, it doesn't have to be super straight, a little bit wavy. And then in the middle is a zipper. Okay, so you can put a couple of lines for the middle of the zipper and then there was a pat, uh, some like fabric that went on either side. And then it looked like it was made out of a fabric that was like in uh, ridges or something. So I just, all I did was do like a little row of sad smiles that are attached, if you can see that. And I'm gonna bring it down so they look like backwards candy canes that come down here. Okay, so you can see that. You can go back in then and erase that top part there. And then for the back, you're gonna do the exact same thing. Make those be a little bit like the sad smiles and get that going on there maybe the opposite direction. Okay, and then get the make sure the neck comes down all the way then. Um, so again, we're gonna do those sad smiles that go around to indicate like the type of fabric that is. 
And then we're gonna do the opposite of what we did here. So those are gonna be those candy canes that kind of come around like that. And you can go ahead and erase the top of that. For the zipper, you could just do little boxes that are like next to each other, almost like a, a checkerboard to look like the, the zipper goes in between um, the pattern there. And then just extend out, out the shoulders then. All right, so now what you can do is go back in and color these things darker. You can outline the whole thing. Remember how we did those eyes to get those added um, uh, highlights in there? Make sure these lines are nice and dark. If you have a little bit of extra room and you want to get part of those eyebrows in there to make him look a little more stern in this picture, just point them down. Okay, so point your eyebrows down and get those in there colored in really good. People. And then you can go in and add shading and whatever else you like to your picture. Just erase those, those guidelines that you drew. And again, you can get that really light in there. His eyes are blue. If you wanna just put a punch of color in there and just do the eyes blue, you could do that. And that would make a really cool looking piece. All right, so continue with your portrait. And then we're gonna create ourselves as a manga character. What I'm going to do is draw a circle for my face. So I'm gonna get that circle in there to the best of my ability. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that plus sign in there. Okay, so remember that plus sign is important. It's gonna go right in the middle, all right? And then I'm gonna go in and straighten this down just a little bit on each side and curve it now and bring it down to create that chin, that rounded chin. And then I'm gonna bring it back up, okay? So remember, I'm gonna leave that line there because that's about where the mouth will go. So I'm not gonna erase that guideline yet, but I'm gonna go in and I'm going to add my eyes. So decide if you want the big oval ones, if you want round eyes, whatever you do, remember symmetry. So I'm going to start out on each side with that sad smile. And guys, you can do your eyes however you want to. And I'm going to add, sorry, looks like I need to go up a little higher. Okay, and then I'm going to add those eyelashes on the end. So I'm gonna do three, one, two, three on each side. <clears throat> and I think I'm gonna go with the circle and not the oval. So I'm gonna bring that around and I'm gonna, for now, I'm gonna get a really big circle in the middle and I'll try to duplicate that on the other side. Okay, I've got that. And what am I gonna do? My donut. Okay, I'm gonna get that big circle in the middle for the pupil. And then I'm going to go in, and this time I'm gonna do it on the other side and I'm gonna put two highlights in there. My highlights are gonna be pretty big. In cartooning, usually, the bigger you make the eyes and the bigger the pupil, the happier the character looks. So I'm gonna get that highlight. That one will be a little bit smaller. Erase out that. Okay, so I've got that. It's cutting off the circle, that line is. Okay, and then I'm going to add that bottom one now. It's just like the little bit of a smile, a little bit of a smile, so that it has that open-ended eye on either side. And with just a little bit, I'm just putting two little lashes on the end there, okay? So as far as the nose goes, I'm just gonna give myself a little nose coming down. And as far as the, now I, want, I might wanna drop that, so I'll see in just a second here. And then as far as the mouth, I'm just going to go with a simple little mouth, okay? So I'm going to, this is my middle line here. So on either side, I'm just going to do a little bit of a, looks like a flying seagull, right? And then I'm going to bring it in just a little bit, just a little bit, have a little middle line, and then I'm going to have that little bit of a, a chin underneath it. So now I can go in and erase, because... <laughs> 
start to look like a puppet, right? If you don't. So start to erase some of those lines. You can get that in there just a little bit. Remember the pupils will be nice and dark. Color in. If this pencil is gonna, if this sketch is going to be all in pencil, then you can just color it all in in pencil. All right, and then you can do the other, like I said, you can still add a pop of color with your colored pencils if you want. That's a really cool look to do. Get that in there, and then put that lighter shading around it if you want to and blend that in. Okay, lighter shading where the color would be or use a colored marker or pencil in there to get those eyes in there. And, um, and then we're gonna go ahead with the eyebrows on there as well. So we're gonna get the eyebrows on there. Okay. Symmetry, I wonder how many times I've said symmetry in this video. A lot, right? Okay, and then now if your ears are gonna show, don't forget that's the midpoint for the ears. So you're gonna just, you don't know if they're going to show yet, so you might want to just draw little ears on there for now and see if, if it's going to show or not. And then get the neck down. Remember, I'm going to start out right about here and get that neck coming down. And then I can go ahead and erase all of those. I erased the, the nose there because I might drop it down or make it go in the other direction just a little bit. So I'm going to go like that. I've got that little mouth there. If I wanted to, I could do the open mouth with that I showed you, where you're just taking and 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 see. Sometimes that's all you need is a little little mouth like that. I'm gonna try to show you several different ones here. Okay, so it can just be opened a little bit on there. It can be opened a lot, like you're laughing. Okay. So I'm going to open it up a little bit. I'm going to put some teeth in this one. Color that in there. Okay, so you can see that now. And then you can always do a little chin like that at the bottom too. So I've got the head and everything in there now. And now I can start with the hair. So this is a, something very important to consider now. When you do the hair, a lot of people will start here and make the part here and do this, and that just looks funny. It's just not right, okay? So what we wanna do is the head is, the hair is always going to extend out to at least about here, okay? Almost the same amount as between here to here, all right? So when we do the bangs and everything, we're gonna start way up there, and I'm gonna come around and get some of those. It's not gonna look like a whole lot right now. So I'm getting the bangs in there. And if I want to sweep them over, and a lot of times they dip down over the, the eyes and the eyebrows, and you can get the hair in there that way. And go both directions okay so again it's that spiky hair that I'm doing right now that's going to come around and start way up there okay and now I'm getting it to come all the way around all right now we're gonna erase those lines on the inside you might not see the ears the way I'm doing it all right, so I'm gonna go in, erase those lines in there, erase where it overlaps over the, the eyebrows and everything, where the bangs are, okay? And then if you have short hair, you can leave it short. You could do more spiky stuff in there if you have hair that you wanna make spiky in the back. If your hair is longer, you can bring it around now and you're going to make, still have your, the everything be kind of choppy looking but you can make it long looking that way and bring your lines in like that and then they can alternate and you can have some going one direction, some going in another and you can continue to add on, on to that. You don't want it to be too big, 
but again, it starts way up here. It does not start where that line was, where this line was, where the head was. So you can continue doing that and then give yourself a collar, a necklace. You can be wearing a choker if you want. Anything that you wanna do there, if your hair is sw swept over to one side, you can have it look like it's going like that. You can add a flower in your hair, a barrette, a Hello Kitty um, barrette, anything you want. And then as soon as you're done with that, then you can go in and start doing your shading as well. I can't wait to see your portraits.